Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark Ashby. I am the king of the cul-de-sac, the grillionaire, and the internet's most favorite barbecue expert. And in today's video, I'm taking a recipe from Chef Eric Gephardt. He is a close personal friend of mine, and we are taking this beautiful, fully striated pork butt, and we're gonna be making them into pork bombs. Let's get started. To get things started today, we fired up the Grilla Grills Silver Bag. Now, we're starting the first part of this cook in the pro mode, which gives us more of a smoke flavor. On the second half of this cook, we're gonna be switching it to PID mode, where we have more accurate temperatures. We wanna make sure we cover this beautiful port butt right here with as much smoke as we can get from those competition pellets from Grilla Grills, and we also wanna make sure that we maintain the right temperature throughout this entire cook. Now for this cook, you wanna go ahead and get yourself a boneless pork butt. What that means is that the H bone is already taken out and that just saves us a little bit of time. The next step we have to do is cut off this fat cap right here. Now we wanna make sure that we trim all this fat off the fat cap and where I bought, I bought this from Costco, we already had a good bit of it done because what we're doing is we are not cooking this whole pork butt in one piece. We're actually gonna be cutting them down into about 12 ounces, which is about that size right there. A little bit bigger than a baseball, a little smaller than a softball, and we're gonna be cutting this whole pork butt into these 12 ounce pieces, seasoning them up really well, and then throwing them on the smoker for just a couple hours. We don't have to be perfect with these 12 ounces. This is just kind of a guide but these pork bombs do have to be right around that range. Now all this globular fat right here, that's okay. We're gonna be using that part to kind of break down that collagen when we're cooking it again. So we're gonna be cooking this twice. Once, just raw like this with smoke and seasoning, and second, wrapped in cellophane. Now if you look right here, like I said earlier, we have this globular fat, that's okay, but the most important part is all these little veins of fat right here. You wanna make sure you get a good high quality piece of pork because that is the part that's gonna break down, that's gonna help retain that moisture, and that's gonna give us all the flavor when we cut these bombs open later. If you look here, we got about eight equal pieces, or pretty close to equal. We, you know, trimmed down a little bit of this one. Some of them are gonna be a little bigger than others. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is barbecue and barbecue is done your way. Now, it's time to season these up. And what I did is I took this giant shaker that you can get on CosmoQ.com and uh, I took three equal parts of the CosmoQ SPG, the CosmoQ Dirty Bird, and the CosmoQ Honey Killer Bee, and I mixed all these together in here, and this is what we're gonna flavor up these bombs with some actual bomb flavor. And get a lot, look at all that. Just get a lot on there, it's okay. It's okay to make a mess, barbecue is messy. And because this was a boneless pork butt, you can see you have all these nooks and crannies because it was cut, that H bone was cut out. Make sure you get all of that because we want that flavor to explode. I'm gonna use a lot of bomb references, but not in the FBI kind. <coughs> it's a little peppery in here. Now, like I said, barbecue's messy, but take your pork and mop it up. Get as much of that flavor to it here. We're not using a binder. You don't need a binder for this, okay? You can put one on if you want. Mayo, mustard, oil, whatever you want, but it's not necessary. The moisture from the pork should pick up as much flavor as we can get. We got our beautiful, beautiful seasoned pork. You can see it's already sweating out. Now, here's the key to the first part of this recipe. We're gonna put this on at 225 for two hours. After the first hour, we're gonna flip it because we wanna make sure we get even smoke permeation throughout the pork. Into the smoker they go, right on the 
great over indirect heat. They're all in there, so we're gonna close the lid and we're gonna set a timer for one hour. After that hour, we're gonna come out and just flip them over to make sure, again, that we're getting even cooking and smoke permeation. We don't want that heat directly just on one side. One hour has passed. Let's take a look at them, see how they are coming along. We have some nice, beautiful coloring. Look at that nice mahogany color. So all we're gonna do is flip over each one so that we get a nice even cook on each side. Now we're gonna wait another hour and then we're gonna wrap them in some cellophane and throw them back on the smoker until they are tender. So these have been smoking two hours. They look absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at this color that we have here. These pork steaks are nice and firm, but the coloring is right where we want it. So we're gonna take these off the grill. We're gonna let them cool for just about five minutes and then we're gonna wrap them in cellophane going east to west, then north to south, putting them in a foil pan and then wrapping that in foil, putting it back on the smoker until they probe tender. Now, it doesn't mean that they're gonna be uh, probing at a certain temperature, like pulled pork is 203, somewhere around there. We'll shoot for around there, but we're just gonna be doing a field test today. We're gonna take our nice pork bombs right here, and I went uh, crazy industrial here. I got 3,000 square feet of, that's bigger than the house I live in and uh, we're gonna wrap it here, we're gonna mummify this. So first thing, we're going to do this really tight. We're doing this for all of them. Do it about four times, two. Make sure you pack it in there, four. Then you're gonna go north to south by twisting it, and then you're gonna go north to south, and four. Cut that off. Make sure you got that nice and packed, and then we're gonna put that and the aluminum foil pan right there. So do that for all the pork chunk steaks that you have. Now it's really important when we are making this that each piece is touching the bottom. We don't want these to be stacked or anything because it's not gonna cook evenly that way. I was actually able to get all eight of them in there without stacking them. They're all touching the bottom. There's no stacking on top. Maybe a little bit right here, but it's okay. Again, it's beauty barbecue. Now we're gonna take some aluminum foil, the heavy duty kind, and we are gonna wrap this on top. And the idea here is that these pork bombs are gonna cook in their own juices. We're not losing any of that collagen that's breaking down as it heats up into the smoker. So that's what makes this pork bomb great, is that we're kind of braising it in its own juices. It's fantastic. Okay, so we've smoked these on the pro mode of the silver bat, which gives it a lot, a little bit of the temperature swing, but way more smoke flavor. So now we're gonna switch it to PID mode right here. What this does is this gives us a more precise cook. The reason we're doing it this way, we don't wanna go over 250 degrees because that cellophane could melt past that temperature. So we're looking to keep this below 250. My goal is to keep it at right around 225. Now, we take our pan, and we're just gonna put it right in the middle. And this is the part that takes the longest. They're gonna sit in there probably four to five hours until they are ready. Okay, it's been about five and a half hours, almost six hours now. Uh, I think it's done. No, can't really tell anything going on here. But we're gonna take this off. Got my Typher Instant Pro. Nice display here. They feel tender. Let's just do a quick test and see. Right in there, baby. So I'm gonna take these off and let them rest for about 10 minutes, and then we're just gonna open it up and see how tender they are. So here we have one of our pork bombs. We cut it open, you can see all the juices in there. I mean, look at that, coming right out. So let's unwrap this and let's see how tender this pork bomb is. Look at all that juice. That. That's beautiful. And then, this is how tender it should just fall apart in your hand. 
Look at that. Super tender. Wow. And the, the, the purpose of this is to kind of give each person that presentation. If you've made barbecue pork before, you know that when you shred it, it's really cool and it has that nice feeling and everything. But this gives that person an individual version of that. And all they have to do is just take their fork and knife and slightly pull it apart. Look at that. Gorgeous. Now to top this off, we are gonna do our Cosmo Q peach habanero sauce. This will give it a nice heat, a little tang. All right, we're gonna dip it in here. Get a little bit of that sauce on there. That's what we're working with. Now, time for the bite. Oh my God. Good God. Seriously. That's so good. I've, this is my first time ever making this. The flavor is phenomenal. We get some nice sweet heat from the sauce here, but mixing that SPG, the killer honeybee, you get a little sweetness from that, and the uh, dirty bird, it, it worked perfectly and it cooked in its own juices here. This is stunning. And putting this on a, putting this on a sandwich would be absolute perfection. I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, and for my third bite. Mmm. Oh my God, it's so tender. This is different than regular pulled pork. It's just your own, oh my gosh. This is fantastic. It turned out perfect, just like me. First of all, I don't even know where to start. I'm lost for words here. <laughs> this is so good. This is a 12 out of 10, okay? the the. The recipe is a little bit laborious and it takes a long time, right? I was staring at my smoker ready for this thing to cook, but I couldn't cook it faster because of the cellophane. Didn't want it to melt. Oh my goodness, though. <laughs> it's worth the wait. Uh, make sure you throw it on earlier than I did uh, so you can have it in time for dinner and not before bed. But barbecue, every cook is gonna turn out differently too. This is, this is never gonna turn out the same as it did this time, but this was fantastic. And I'm gonna throw this recipe up on my blog, uh, grillmarco.com, the menu board blog that I got there. And uh, we're gonna finish this off. I, I don't even know how to describe this. It's just beautiful. It, it, is, it is perfection. And uh, until next time, make sure you eat well, you do well, and you serve some good food. See you then. Oh, so good. Mm.